Hey guys, it's Kayla, or Moon, or founder of the Slay Collective. What's up? If you've watched My School President, then you know why we're here. Poor. Fashion icon, poor. Played by the equally iconic Ford. I'm so used to seeing Beale boys wear nothing but school uniforms, Hawaiian shirts, and Supreme hoodies that when a character like Poor comes along, it's an occasion for celebration. Hence today's video where I'll be ranking his top 10 best looks, in my opinion. Throughout MSP, Poor dons at least 36 unique outfits, so narrowing them down is going to be a challenge, but I'm up for it. So let's kick off the ranking at number 10 with a look I call Fairy K Kawaii. This pastel cardigan shows up in episode 10 during a visit to the student council. We have a neon tinted color theme consisting of pink, blue, purple, yellow, and orange horizontal stripes. This particular style is very reminiscent of Japanese fairy K fashion, which is inspired by 80s cartoon motifs like My Little Pony and Care Bears. I know I just called out school uniforms, but this cardigan does such a good job at sprucing up an otherwise mundane look. And what I love most about it is how perfectly it reflects Poor's vibrant personality. It isn't enough to be a walking beanie baby, he has to look like one too. Moving on to number nine, we have the Jackie O Tees. This baby pink shirt makes a brief appearance in episode 11 when the gang holds a surprise dinner for Poor. The lapel collar is so chic, so classy, but still so poor. The surplus neckline and crossbody buttons give off an air of regality, like a first lady. It's made of a lightweight material that's perfect for that mandatory BL beach trip, yet formal enough to wear out on the town. What I love about this look is how effortlessly it can be dressed up or down depending on the occasion. And for this one, it's paired with a simple pair of black shorts, blue ankle socks, and white sneakers. This lean into casual wear makes for a great day-to-night outfit that doesn't appear too try-hard. Next, at number eight, we have the Collegiate Baddie. This outfit is first seen in episode one when Chinzilla decide to join the folk music competition. The two-toned navy and sky blue sweater vest over the white t-shirt is giving academia. Add the dainty pearl necklace and dark wash wide leg jeans onto the look and you get this preppy old money aesthetic. The tucked vest is so posh and clean, but what I really love about this look is how it still manages to be youthful and relaxed. I could imagine Poor wearing this to his morning class, then hopping on a yacht afterwards. He's studious, but playful, has his head in the books, but knows how to have a good time. I would trust this boy with my algebra homework and my party playlist. Continuing on to number seven is the Pretty Boy Picnic. This outfit shows up in episode 6 when Chinzilla are filming their cover music video of Just Being Friendly. I'm a big fan of gingham, so I love this green, blue, and red cardigan. The color blocking is super trendy and pairs nicely with the white sunflower print t-shirt. Although the top incorporates a pattern of primary colors, it doesn't look too busy. And again, we have that pearl necklace and those dark wash wide leg jeans to complete the look. One thing I appreciate about Poor's clothing is how many of the articles repeat because it feels more realistic to the average person's wardrobe. Anyway, this is an ideal look for a quaint picnic in the park, charcuterie board and all. Counting down to number six is a look I call Sporty Spice. This indigo blue and gray striped polo tank briefly shows up in episode two when Chinzilla perform at their seniors nightclub. The sleeveless top paired with the pleated black shorts is so athletic, great for a tennis match or similar outdoor activities. The beaded necklace isn't an accessory I would think to pair with this outfit, but personally, I think it was a genius styling choice. It complements the outfit so well because it adds this pop of color that is so representative of Poor's personality. 
He's like a shining diamond in a pit of dirt, a rainbow that appears after a storm. And for that reason, I feel this outfit is amazing. It's not just cute and sporty, it's him to the very core. You guys are halfway there. Next up at number five is the Bulletproof Beach Bum. This green checkered top appears for less than a minute in episode nine when Chinzilla are rehearsing on their beach trip. I ranked this one so high because I'm obsessed with the cut and print of this top. I would wear it in a heartbeat. Whoever thought to dress forward in a cropped utility vest has my hand in marriage. I love the rounded hem, the plunging neckline, and the collage print of stars and flowers. Once again, this is paired with a pearl necklace and black jean shorts. I would have loved to see this vest with some matching green shorts, like a two-piece set from Fashion Nova or a bellboy at an oceanfront resort. Either way, it's cute. At number four, we have a fan favorite the Songkran Slayer. This iconic look is introduced in episode 9 during that eventful beach trip. Where do I begin? The cropped button down, the jean shorts, the thick rimmed sunglasses, the beaded necklace, and the Calvin Klein briefs. Iconic. I love the contrast of the royal blue top and the crisp white shorts, along with the color-coordinated accessories. It really satisfies my undiagnosed OCD. This is a great outfit for a hot summer's day, a festival perhaps. I could imagine poor wearing this to a water gun fight, a gay pride parade, or both. I could also see this outfit debuting at a full moon party. It's astrologically adorable. If you want to be mysterious, keep the sunglasses on at night. Coming up at number three is a look I call the tree hugger. This multicolored sweater is one of six outfit changes that Poor has throughout episode nine. Seriously, I love this sweater on Ford. If the other one got my hand in marriage, this one got my firstborn child. The way the scoop neck lays on his collarbone makes him look so tiny, like you could pick him up with one arm and throw him over your shoulder. Again, we have the white jean shorts, which help to keep the outfit breathable. And okay, I hate sandals on men, I hate man toes, I hate feet in general. But these white sandals actually complement this outfit so well. We also have that beaded necklace that pairs so nicely with all the beachy clothing. I call this the tree hugger because I get strong hippie vibes from it, between the hand knitting and diagonal striped pattern of the top. At number two is a look that I consider truly magnificent the 80s superstar. This head-to-toe outfit makes its grand appearance in episode 12 when Chinzilla perform at prom night. Everything 80s inspired is my aesthetic, so ranking this outfit wasn't hard. That being said, this one is a whole ensemble. The deep v-neck dress shirt, the baggy mint shorts, the black combat boots, ugh. Here we have more color blocking with a fancy emerald, lime, and black design. These shades of green shouldn't work, but they do. It's a funky little getup that suits the prom night dress code just right. But the one detail that brings it all together for me is the slicked back hair. Poor looks so suave, like a heartthrob straight out of a teen magazine. And finally, at number one is a certified poor classic. Dun dun dun, I couldn't come up with a name for it. I'm sorry. My brain must have shut off at this point, so I'm going to need you guys to help. What should we call this look? Please tell me in the comments. It's been hours and I'm stuck. The moment that van door opened, the girlies were sent into a frenzy. Lives were changed. Global warming was reversed. World peace was achieved. And all thanks to this green and white striped sweater vest. I would not change a thing about this outfit. The white khaki shorts, the white sandals, the layered necklaces, and brown rimless sunglasses are a hit. It's a vibe. It's a mood. It's a revolution. Need I say more? Thank you to the moon and back for watching. And thank you to my wonderful patrons, Alexa, Shar, David, Jess, 
Nellie Bell 32 and S. Over on Patreon, I'm reacting to A Boss and a Babe and Bed Friend, both dramas that I have a lot of thoughts on. Check it out if you're interested. A standout character deserves a standout wardrobe, and poor is no exception. So I want to know, which one of his looks is your favorite? There are so many to choose from, and I didn't even mention half of them. I'm curious to see where each outfit falls in your rankings. Again, thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk in the next video. Bye!